another check of that weather. I mentioned it before. We are all grateful, apparently, apparently with how uh, the weather is going to be turning, that oh, all of yeah. those are indoors. Yeah, absolutely. Next week is going to really be very cold here locally. I mean, this weekend is going to start to cool down and we're going to get some active weather as well, but it's really not going to be that bad. So if you do have outdoor plans this weekend, you should be good to go. It's going to be all right outside. 32 degrees is that temperature right now, so quite a lot warmer than we saw the past few days. Five, uh, a southeasterly wind at five miles per hour right now, so a little bit of a breeze as you're heading out the door now. It is getting warmer outside slightly, but we are going to see a shift starting really this weekend. We're going to get some snow as well. Low pressure is going to be pushing on into the region. The jet stream carrying down uh, that cold air, that moisture all the way even south of us from the Arctic. And this winter cold that we've been seeing, um, it's going to get worse next week. So that'll be fun. Uh, but right now, temperatures are a little bit warmer than we've seen. Like I said, 32 degrees there in Boise, 26 in Idaho City. Stanley seeing 11 degrees. Now we are going to be warming up today into those upper 30s, low 40s in the Treasure Valley, but even towards our north, we'll see warmer temps. 33 degrees there in McCall over the East Central Mountain Range. Also a little bit better, except for Fairfield, right? 25 degrees over there. Our next weather maker is going to be pushing in today. Not a whole lot of precipitation is expected at least yet. Overnight, we are going to see some of that snow and rain come down in some of the areas. Here's a look at the future track, that loop of what this system is going to be doing. So as you can see, it's going to be widespread into western Montana, north Idaho, and pushing into southern Idaho as well, bringing us some isolated chances of snow showers. But let, let's look specifically at when that's going to be happening. So 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, we're seeing that snow come down north of McCall. We're seeing that snow come down in the east central mountains. As we progress through the day, uh, we'll see that system push on into the Treasure Valley as well as the Magic Valley, but it's not going to be very significant. We're talking about a 20% chance of precipitation in those areas. Now, Saturday morning we'll get round two, and this is going to be a little bit more of a lengthier pattern. We'll see that precipitation really hanging out Saturday morning uh, in the West Central Mountains, and then after that it's going to be pushing south into the Treasure Valley once again. Now, like I mentioned, we're going to get that low pressure pushing on in, which is going to drop our temperatures significantly. So normal temperatures this time of year are on 39, 40 degrees. So when we're in the low 20s, we're like 15 degrees below normal. So next week we are going to feel very cold outside. Those temperatures at night are going to be significantly colder. Now Treasure Valley today though, we don't have to worry about that quite yet, right? It's going to be pretty nice today. Upper 30s, low 40s, some sunshine this morning. Uh, so any, some increasing cloud cover during the day as the system really pushes through the region. And we've got about a 40% chance of snow tonight here in the West Central Mountains. Now partly con con Partly cloudy conditions over here in the east central mountains. There's that word <laughs> cloudy. Uh, we're going to be a little bit colder over here. 32 degrees in Haley, 25 in Fairfield. And you can see that overnight that system's going to be to the north. And then early Friday morning that system will be pushing through the east central mountains, making for a little bit of a slick and slushy commute for folks living over in that region. Now the Magic Valley cloudy conditions this morning. Actually some sunshine this afternoon It's going to be a little bit breezy easy over here as well, an average of around six miles per hour. Here's a look at that extended forecast. Like I mentioned, precipitation the next couple of days here in the Treasure Valley and then colder temperatures expected next week.